Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel. I'm really excited to share this video with you. This one's a little bit different. I did edit this video, but I'm not the runner. This video documents my friend Tony Johns and his running of the 2021 Western States 100. You might recognize Tony from my other videos on the channel. He and I ran together at Mountain Lakes 100 and the Javelina 100. We both ran the Wonderland Trail together. He joined me for my Port to Pilchuck adventure and he was one of my pacers at the Moab 240. I was a part of Tony's crew for Western and I also helped pace him from the Rucky Chucky River crossing to the finish. I really hope you enjoy Tony John's Western States 100. Make sure that this gets added to the video, Wes, right here. Tony Jones! Tony Jones! Yeah. 
Not really seven years packed in the <laughs> It's it's not, but yet it kind of feels like maybe it is. Yeah, it yeah. miles in to the 2021 Western States 100. Um, this part here is fairly rocky and technical. It's kind of slow going. Um, trying to kind of get into a groove is tough just because of the constant rocks and then this downhill is definitely dotted with a lot of uh, short but steep little uphill sections. We're almost uh, seven and a half miles in now. Still got a bit of a, a pace train going here, but thankfully I don't really have anybody pushing me from behind. The group in front is going a pace that's comfortable. So there's no stress involved at this point. It's just nice, easy running. If we make a video, you should like make 90% of it about the race crew. <laughs> and just add to <laughs> Water. Okay. Morning. Water. Can you just top that off? Thank you. Uh, like right thank you so much. You guys have a wonderful That's plenty for now. I appreciate it. You guys have a wonderful day. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. About uh, half a mile out of the first aid station. Legs are feeling good. The sun's coming out. It's not too warm yet, but it's starting to heat up. Uh, got a nice little climb we're doing here. And then after that, we should get some more downhill. All right, we're on a nice downhill here, about uh, two miles, mile and a half, probably actually out of uh, the last aid station. Legs are feeling pretty good, which is certainly a good thing when you're only 12 miles in, but uh, yeah, they're feeling good. Don't feel like I'm putting out a ton of effort, feel like I'm holding back and uh, saving energy, which was the plan. All right, so kind of going along a ridge line here. There's been a fair amount of climbing. Goes up, goes down, climbs are short, but 
fairly significant. Um, got a glimpse ahead. It looks like there's a pretty good descent coming. So my legs will be looking forward to that. All right, we should be about a half a mile out of Aid Station 2, uh, Red Star Ridge, I believe is the name of it. Um, continuing to kind of go up and down, climb to about 72, 7300, drop back down to about 7000, go back up. All right, heading into aid two, uh, the Redstone Ridge. Good. Good. Thank you. Yes. Thank, right. thank you very much. Thank you. All right, got a few to get to up top top here, sir. Water. Uh, water on that one, yeah. Okay, perfect. There you go. Thank you. Yeah. And thank you. They're all gonna be water. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Climbing out of Red Star. They say it's just a little bit of climbing, mostly downhill to the next aid station at uh, Duncan Canyon. Starting to warm up. I've got ice in my bandana. Trying to stay cool, keeping the pace very easy. Trying not to push it at all right now. We continue to have lots and lots of short climbs. None of them are long in this section, but they're frequent for sure. All right, so I'm realizing I'm falling behind a little more than I want to here. Um, based off the current pace, it looks like I'm gonna get into uh, Robinson Flat about an hour later than I'd wanted to. I think it's the elevation we're at that's really slowing me down because it's warm, but it's not that warm. And my legs feel good. I just don't have a lot of energy on the climbs. All right, now we seem to be on this definite downhill section, dropping pretty quick, making up some time, I think, under 15 minute miles right now, as an average. Um, so I'm moving fairly well still. So. Thank you. Oh my You're doing great. Uh, yeah. what do you if need? I get, you got crew here or no? Uh, no, just okay. if I can get some water in water. there, that'd be great. Follow me over to food over here, get yourself some calories. Uh, that would be wonderful. Thank you very much. Of course. A total of about six miles in the next day. Okay, awesome. Yeah. Wonderful. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. You guys have a great one. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Got a nice downhill section here. Uh, a little less than a mile out of that last aid station. It's 11.15 in the morning, and uh, I'm currently at 25.6 miles into this adventure. I appear to be done. With this, the descent, I crossed the river just a couple minutes ago. Um, ducked my hat in it, got it wet. It is hot, but it's not overly hot yet. I think it will be 
by the time we get to this climb. Definitely climbing now, so um, it's three miles, a little less, to Robinson Flat. So I'm done with at least part of the climb. I don't know if there's another segment or not. But right now we're rolling down this beautiful single track trail. Should have about a mile or so until I reach Robinson Flat. Looks like I'll be coming in about 40 minutes later than anticipated. This course is just tough. Thank you. Wonderful, thank you. Good job, man. Thank you. Tony Johns, welcome. All right, come have a seat. Come on, have a seat. Thank you. Welcome. This course is tough, man. Welcome, dude. Oh, thank you. How you feeling? Good. Feeling really good. You look like shit. What you need? really time between each station, man. It's yeah. Longer than anticipated. Oh yeah. Hard terrain. I do find when I'm below about 6,000 feet, but then above 6,000, I can feel the lack of oxygen. I don't know how hot it is. Plus 66. Good to see you. Oh, yes, please. Thank you. Is this his, is this his GoPro? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, see you guys in 32 miles. Are you guys teach better? Yes. Wonderful. Thank you so much. You're awesome. Thank you. Bye, buddy. It's, let's see here. 12.48, 9.30.9 miles in. Just left uh, Robinson Flat. So I'm feeling really good right now. Spirits are uplifted. Having a crew makes all the difference in the world. It's just so uplifting when you get in and you see them and you know they're gonna be there. And they kind of help you through, which feels like a NASCAR pit stop, getting everything done. Mm. Got some color going on, dude. Mm. Your neck and... I put some uh, sun cream on. Two two seven, yes, sir. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> uh, I think I'm good with this. Thank you very much. All right, so it's one forty five. We're getting into the heat of the day. Uh, I'm, um, let's see here, 35 and a half miles in, still feeling strong, trying to keep the pace down because i got the big climbs that are coming.
All right, we're coming into dusty corners here. 227. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, just water, please. Just the ice water? Uh, yeah, yes, please. Thank you. Anything else? You want something to eat? Uh, yes. And you can get ice and they can wet you with the end right down here. Awesome. Thank you. Uh -huh. You're welcome. Have a great run. Thank you very much. Looking good. Thank you so Everything's filled for you. So let's just walk this way. Ice is here. Now it's getting hot. Uh, just left Dusty Corners. I've got 5.3 miles, um, which apparently slightly downhill with some rollers to last chance. The hottest temperatures of the day. Um, they're supposed to be up over 100 degrees down in this canyon today. Um, so far, I've been tolerating them well. Hopefully that continues. So here's that single track trail I've been hoping for. All right, this trail has been very pleasant. It's a nice gradual downhill, smooth single track, not many things to trip on. Uh, it's uh, shaded quite a bit, almost 40 miles in, 39 and a half. With this shade, the heat is much more tolerable. Still have a long way to drop down into that canyon. Uh, I can hear the river at the bottom. We crossed the river, so I assume that we've got to get all the way down there. Forty-two miles in, the sun is really hot. It's a cools down a lot when you head into the, into the coverage of the trees. Uh, a little bit of wind feels good there, but yeah, that sun is something else. Thank you. I'm gonna assume that Tony was me even though I know it wasn't. Hello. 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 You are. Look at you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I'm the only person you've clapped for today, right? I what? No, I'm just kidding. Good job. <laughs> Thank you. What's your name? I'm Amy. Alright, just left last chance. They were great there, really got us cooled off, doused cold ice water over my head and shoulders. I've got ice in my hat, I've got ice in the bandana. Now it's time to descend down to the river and see what this heat is really like. So I'm on the descent now. This thing's really going downhill in single track. It's it's steep and it's slow going because it's pretty technical in spots. Like this section right here is good, but just came through a very technical section. Sure, the steepness of this section here won't show up very well, but it's steep. Too steep to run fast on if you're somebody like me too rocky because with tired legs I don't want to catch a rock and go tumbling still got a long way to go down and across the river and then we're gonna have to climb one of those hills all right so I'm down at the creek and everybody recommends you get in the creek to cool off before starting to climb up these devil's thumbs so here we go Oh. Oh. 
This is a steep climb. I've never been, I don't think, on a climb this steep in a race. This is hard. This is really hard. Thankfully it's shaded so far. This thing is, this thing's brutal. I'm trying to just keep the legs churning, stay in slow steady pace, but this is tough. This is really difficult. Still on the climb, I've got maybe three tenths of a mile to go. This is just a grind. You might be able to see the valley down below where we came from. Any rule says I can't run back down and do it again? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got the GoPro on me. That's right. That's about. <laughs> One way, but we got more hills for you. Well, I appreciate that. Yeah, we got a nice downhill coming up. There you go, Tony. Thank you. Riding it on up, looking good. Do you know if there's any rules that say, say I can't go down and do it again? Yeah, you go down and then kind of do it again. Perfect. <laughs> Left uh, double thumb about a half mile ago. My legs are still feeling good. Um, the heat never really hit me as bad as I had expected. So far, this has been a very pleasant descent. It's shaded, it's a good trail, it's not too rocky. It's a very nice runnable downhill. The second place guy also broke the previous year's course record, so, yeah. That was Hazy who dropped out. He dropped out. He looked miserable. It's heating up a little bit again, heading down into this El Dorado Canyon, and uh, my stomach has started to turn on me, so unfortunately, instead of running this downhill, I'm now walking it, trying to keep the intensity down, keep the core temperature down as much as I can. Um, try to keep the stomach from turning too much. The sun has set, dipped down below the hill. Much, much cooler now. Stomach has settled down. Still have a little less than half a mile, I think, to the aid station. But at least I can do some slow running now. Thank you. Yeah. All right, I'm about half a mile up the climb to Michigan Bluff. Falling a little further behind on time, but that's okay. The times are just arbitrary.
266 are at the top of the hill here. Those are your runners. You'll be seeing them pretty soon. Oh, I just left Michigan Bluff. I've got six miles to Forest Hill. We're finally going to see my crew again and pick up uh, Pacers. Uh, stomach is not cooperating. It comes and goes. I have moments where I can run and moments where I just can't because I stop and throw up. So, trying to keep the stomach happy. It's the most important thing right now. I'm halfway between uh, Michigan Bluff and Forest Hill. Um, descending down into the last can canyon. This thing is a monster. Yeah? Oh, this course is unbelievable. It just keeps coming at you. See, you're kicking its ass. Oh. second one was way hotter. The first one, you can't descend. Uh, it's just so steep and technical, but it wasn't horribly hot. And then the second one, you could run down, but oh, it's like running into a furnace. It was so hot at the bottom. And you, when, when, when you descend into the canyon, you can just feel it. And then as you go out, it cools you off. You can feel it getting better? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Especially the second canyon. It was just so, so hot. I did fine on the first one. And the second one is when I started, climbing out of the second one is when I started having stomach, stomach issues. <laughs> well, dude, you're doing great. This has been a beast for everybody. Yeah. This is hot. The hills are crazy. There's lots of rocks. So many rocky sections. So Todd and I are now just about a quarter mile out of the um, Forest Hill Aid Station. Um, we've got a little bit easier terrain now. As long as my stomach cooperates, um, we should be able to do some running.
All right, so Todd and I are, I think, less than a mile out from the next aid station. Um, that'll put us uh, in the high 60s. And uh, then after that, we've got a little over four miles to the next aid station. But so far, over this section, we've been making pretty good time. You're welcome. Two two seven. All right, welcome. Uh, Good job. Thank you. I'm so offended. I know. Everything else you've seen on the trail there, right? Awesome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Are you already? Um, I'm good. I, I'm okay. good. Getting good recall with Martin. Cool. <laughs> right. hey, thank you so much. That's perfect. I really appreciate it. Quite a little climb here. Oh, you fucking keep going. It's the hill it keeps on giving. Yes. All right, so we are just a little over a mile, almost a mile and a half out of the last aid station, uh, Cal One. We've got about uh, almost four miles to go to get to Cal 2. All right, so we are three miles into this section. We've got two miles to go. It's kind of rolling hills for the most part. You get a little bit of some running in and then a little bit of some hiking in. Of course, there's another hill. It's not going to stop Tony. It might. <laughs> oh. I don't think it shows up very well in there. <laughs> How far do we have? Uh, about a mile in the pit. Awesome, so just about a mile to go. Here he is. Head into the next aid, sta aid station and he'll start running here anytime, I'm sure. Yeah, cool. Because you always run into aid stations. Ooh, what is this? Porta potty. What's the number, runner? 227. 227. 227. Hydration police is your first stop here. Thank you. Once you've worked around the corner. All right, we just left Cal 2, also called Peach Stone. We're heading to Cal 3. Uh, it's a pretty short segment. It's only 2.3 miles. This last hill, working up to the aid station, is really, really steep. a mile and a half out of Cal 3, heading down to uh, the Rucky Checky River Crossing where we'll meet the crew again.
Oh, hey there. Howdy. Looking great, Tony. Doing better this time, for sure. Yeah. You look yeah. like you feel better. Yeah. Awesome. It's good. Your stomach comes and goes a little bit, but it hasn't been like it was back good. before shell Awesome. awesome. Okay. You need to check out? Okay. Oh, you're leaving? We're leaving. Hey, uh, 227's out. Hey, we got to cut your thing off, did you? What? Where's Boone? You got to cut it off? Yeah. No, 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 no. I'm leaving to go across the road. Oh, right here. That's okay. Oh, I thought you were leaving the building. Man, you just almost accidentally got taken out of the race. Oh, okay. I'm out of the age station. Wow. Hang on to the rope. Electronics, get them up. You're gonna get wet to about here. Keep your keep your headlamps on so you can see what you're doing. Okay. All right. And uh, doesn't matter what side. You're gonna be this on side. this side. This side. Wonderful. This side. Thank you, guys. Thank you. All right. Here we go. I'm looking forward to this part. So we're going to the right, she said? Uh, I think so. Okay, yep. Yeah. Oh, it feels good to be this part. Good work. Good to see ya. Good nice work. Picking in the views. <laughs> yeah. Wes and I are moving along here, 82 miles in. Measly a little 18 miles to go. Love volunteers. Tell us how you're feeling, Tony. Uh, right now, feeling pretty good. The uh, stomach seems to be calmed down. Um, legs still have some energy in them. Um, I mean. They're not spry, but they've got some energy in them. So, all in all, feeling good.
All right, so leaving the Quarry Road aid station, it's uh, 3.6 miles to uh, Pointed Rocks aid station, which is the last aid station on the course before the finish line. You'll get to hear my joke twice. When I got to the top of Devil's Thumb, I thought it was really funny because I asked one of the volunteers if there was a rule against going back down and doing it again. And uh, then I saw the next volunteer and I asked him the same thing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, you're fine, guys. Thanks, bud. Do you want anything? Uh, no, I'm gonna grab a couple calories. We're gonna get going too. Okay. Rock star. Yep. Way to go! You Way look go. awesome. See you there. All right, we just left Pointed Rocks Aid Station, and my man is uh, looking great. Got 6.2 miles to the finish, so we will finish this thing strong. He's doing great. Good job, guys. All right, Tony, you're doing great, bud. Two two seven. Thank you. I think that sunblock I put on yesterday is still working? Yeah, of course.
the rest of the crew. He must be meeting us on the road. All right. Probably top of this hill. Yeah. This has been a blast. Like I told Todd, 20 years from now when I look back on it, it's gonna be these two segments. I'm gonna remember. Yeah.
also in 28-20. And our winner of the men's 60 to 69 age group from Brecksville, Ohio, Wagon Steen. At 28-21 from Guilford, Connecticut, Scott Slater. Thank you very much. Thank you. At 28-20 from San Ramon, California, Steve Osborne. Thank you very much.